won the tie already, courtesy of uh, the three matches that you've seen, two women singles, Yamaguchi and Takahashi, they've come through successfully in their singles. And, uh, the Germans only managing to detain them for no longer than 40 minutes, Fukushima and Matsutomo as well. Winners in the women's doubles, the first one. Second women's doubles up for you now. Mayu Matsumoto and Nami Matsuyama, 26 and 23 year old. Take on Stina Kuschbert and Emma Moschinski of Germany. World number 216s in this, again, another first meeting, as are all of our matches today. Twenty-six-year-old, the taller one of the two, one meter seventy-seven from Sapporo. World number three on the ranking list with Nagahara, her regular partner. But she's a very versatile tool with a big smash. The reigning world champion, and she's playing alongside uh, Nami Matsuyama, slightly shorter, twenty-three years of age. Also very, very experienced. She normally plays with uh, Chihara Shida, who of course hurt her ankle. Last week in Vanta, they were three zero wins to losses together. But then uh, Shida, let's uh, hope her ankle is repairing nicely. She's being rested at the moment. We might get to see her later on in the week. But here are the German opponents. This is uh, Christina Kuschbert and Emma Washinski. the Germans in their opening match on Saturday. Three quarters of an hour they detained the Olympic champions Pauli and Raheu, losing 16 and 17 in that one. Well, didn't hear any of that and couldn't really pick it up from the um, body language either. It'll all be revealed who's going to serve and receive. So fourth match of the tie just about to get underway as we take a look at our players for the warm-up. Starting with the Japanese from Hokkaido in Japan. Here's Matsumoto. That's been a one in the world with Wakana Nagahara. Very tall, very imposing, massive smash. Got to be wary of that. And Nami Matsuyama, very quick. Three years her junior from Fukuoka. Has been up to nine in the world with Shida who, as I say, just rolled her ankle last week. First point of one of the matches. She managed to come through OK, the match, but obviously after that, it swelled up. Stina Kuschbert of Germany, just 22 years of age from Bremen. 1 64, 216 in the world. Has been a far higher with her regular partner, Annabella Jaeger, at 62. Really surprised when they didn't play together. Maybe there's an injury issue, I don't know. But today she's alongside Emma Wojcinski from Hamburg, 20 years of age. They're playing off a combined ranking of 216 in the world, these two. The sprightly looking 20 year old. Danny Champagne in the chair, Jakob Sinberg. Indonesian service judge, just opposite. Ready to play. Well, all we really know for results of uh, 
Wozinski and Kushbert is that uh, I played a couple of matches in the Sudderman Cup last week. And they also contested the Ukraine International that they won together on week 36 of this year. So collecting 2,500 points for winning that Ukraine International, the Victor Ukraine International. Really good win there for these two. That's probably why they've uh, split their regular pairing and invited Emma Morczynski to uh, play alongside Stina Kushbert. So let's see how they go. They will have their work cut out. We know how good Japan are in women's doubles. It's almost a thankless task, isn't it? But it'll be very good experience for the Germans. Either way. But what can they muster today? Yes, very nice. German duo twinning nicely from the start here. Kushbert and Machinsky. Matsuyama right into the strike zone. That was hit. She was rapier like with a reflex there. Yeah, drops the hammer again. There's Matsumoto. Very power lady. Saka Takahashi takes a seat. Let's get him a post up mortem off one of the coaching team, no doubt. played by the Germans. And the moment's all on film. Proud moments representing a nation in whatever you do.
vocal in celebration after every point, and so they should be. This is a terrific start from the Germans. Really good from Kuspert and Moczynski. Both teams with enough power to split their opponent's defence. Both with good rotational skills. Nice outfit there. I like the German hair. Front to back in moving around, really good. And both teams are taking the initiative well, and well, the Germans controlling the net well. Japan up in the ante to draw a level on the scoreboard in this tight opening game. Very competitive from the start here. Germans with a run of four points already. Eight, seven. Now the Japanese looking resurgent with four points in a row. Just missed that one. Good keen response though from Mayu. Drops the hammer so lovely, and don't they twin nicely together? With Matsutomo following up, Becky Paul Matsuyama following up with such nice Ten. touch. So after a tepid start and being 7-4 down, the Japanese haul it back and head to the mid-game interval with a two-point cushion at 11 points to nine. After just 10 minutes of action out here on Show Court 2. Seconds. 
Dan. So good there from Mayo Matsumoto at the net. The thunderous shot, then the real soft, silky hand skills. Both extreme, so tough to do, but she made that look very easy. As good at the front court as she is in the back court. Such versatility from these top Japanese women's doubles players. So well rehearsed. Yeah, and you don't need to offer Matsuyama too many of those easy pickings around the net. She's like a lightning bolt, the 23-year-old. Sina Kushpa hit it well. She's challenged by the looks of things. Yeah, the uh, arm in the air of the umpire, Jakob Sinberg, denoting exactly that as we head upstairs for the first time in the match. Let's have a look, Let's see what Hawkeye has to uh, bring us. Very tense affair unfolding on. Show court one as well. The Indonesians get in Sukumulio. Level in games now with John Cole and Ketron. Challenge unsuccessful. It was well wide. Service over.
Oh, what a rally from both teams. The Germans so resistant and determined throughout. But in the end, Japan, after rebuilding and rebuilding, put the shuttle to the deck. 17, really 10. competitive opening game, this. Longest rally of the match at 63 shots. Affair between the Germans and Grecia Poli and Apiani will hail you on Saturday, 16 and 17. And what with that tournament win at the Victor Ukraine International earlier in the year, they really are riding a wave of confidence, frankly. 19-11. Coach very animated in their corner. Higashino there, cheering on. service error and uh, that gives three in a row to the German players who are growing in stature here nicely players, Matsumoto and Matsuyama coming through, just inside 20 minutes, 21 points to 15 in the end.
such an opening game, a, a, a real competitive affair, wasn't it? The Germans came out of the stalls in lightning form. Had a 7-4 lead, which against such a decorated uh, Japanese pairing here, takes some doing. Can they continue in that vein? Forced error. Three, love. From the Germans. <laughs> Nicely done. And a great reaction as well. They're totally pumped every point they win. Really into this. Great to see. And only a couple of youngsters, 22 and 20 years old respectively. And they are putting up a decent scrap here. Really good work from Miyamatsu Moto at the back of the court there, just somehow staying in the point. Excellent, there we are, great dig from her there. And they managed to turn the point around in their favour. Determination from Team Germany there, roaring after winning that point. And on Machinsky.
hung in touch, nipping away at the heels of the Japanese nicely, this determined German pair, causing havoc out here. They're asking a lot of questions of these two, commendably. And I tell you what, they might be the German number two pairing right now, okay. playing second fiddle to the world number 30. Top pairing, but uh, their time will come, you sense. They bring a lot to the court. <laughs> oh, but that is just classy. Again, from Mayu Matsumoto. Just showing that she's not a one-trick pony. Not just power obsessed, she's got a lovely soft side as well. Yeah. Good power from Stina Kushper. Suddenly, all the energy on the German side of the net, they're roaring now, the red-clad youngsters. Really enjoying their time out here on show court two. They've got parity in the second game, that's really encouraging. Oh, yes, drop the hammer from Mio Matsumoto, the 26-year-old oldest player on the court. That was authoritative, assertive smashing here. Just another of those I got this sort of moments from her. She is bossy when she wants to be. And just accelerating away again, nonchalantly, the Japanese. They've just got so much, so many ways to pick a lock. Well, I expect the Japanese thought they'd get an easier ride than this from the German second pair. Little did they know. Found the line. And no challenge. Spot on from the German duo. Oh, the service error. From Nami Matsuyama. Who can get to the interval first? It was the Japanese in the opening game, 11 points to nine. It's the Japanese again with blistering pace overhead. But 11 points to 10. A heralded, decorated pairing. Go to the 
change. A bright future, these two, there's no doubting that. They're putting up stern resistance here. Good energy, good vibes between the German pairing. And of course the Japanese, well they're just class, aren't they? work from Nami. To live in such esteemed company. Takes some doing, and the Germans are holding up pretty well here. Oh, yes, thunderous in the end from Nami Matsuyama. here with the flat hard drive from Stina Kuschberg.
Oh yes, short lift away, got what it deserved. But it was the pressure before from Matsumoto. That really did the damage. 17, 14. So three points of cushion for the Japanese here. Is it enough to get them home in straight games? Radar off there momentarily for Mayo. Yet to concede a game, the Japanese, so far in this overall tie. Such has been their stranglehold over this one. Their dominance as top seeds. Showing throughout all of the disciplines, singles and doubles. Setting sail for home now. Stick the dagger in. Mayu Matsumoto and Nami Matsuyama, 26 and 23 year olds respectively, as an unranked pairing coming through again. A pair of 15s on the scoreboard. A really good match to watch. Stina Kuschberg and Emma Wachinski of Germany. 38 minutes they needed. But again, Japan menacingly motoring through without dropping a solitary game so far. That said, they've been very competitive games, but still intact. All smiles, these two. The masks will be put on. And uh, they are motoring like a well-oiled machine. Kit bags decorated. And they have won both women's doubles today and two of the three women's singles as well. We'll be bringing you the third women's singles very shortly. There's confirmation of the score 21 15, 21 15. Team Japan in Matsumoto and Matsuyama coming good. And this was how they did it. All business today against this tricky, really plucky, determined German duo. They found a way through. It'll be Azuka Takahashi and Antonia Schala up next. Women's singles in the fifth match of session two. Japan go 4-0 up. That's what's coming next. It'll be after a very short commercial break. Don't go too far as we're in this beautiful Marcellusburg forest here at the Serres Arena.
Oh, what a beautiful city. Aarhus is the second biggest city in Denmark and the Queen of Denmark's favourite city to visit, I'm told. And the venue where we're playing the badminton, a very short distance from the city centre, only a two-kilometre walk. If you're uh, 